Hey, how's it going? Thanks for taking time of your day to watch this quick video. In this marketing analysis, I'm going to show you exactly where your business is online, how much business is your website bringing you versus your top competitor, and, and show you how to dominate uh, local roofing searches in your area. Um, the process is called search engine optimization, so we're going to be optimizing your site for these local searches, right? Um, so as you can see, my, we're on my company page, my company is AMP Local, we're an internet marketing agency. Um, so I just want to jump right into the video. So here's your website, Barch Roofing Company. 90% um, of the population, you know, when they need a product or service in their area, they're going to use Google, all right, um, especially for roofing services. And 96% of them are going to click on the very first page. So to find you, um, people are going to be searching, you know, simply roofing or roofing services or roofing companies, roofing contractors, all these different types of keywords, right? Um, and in your city of Bridgeton, um, it's happening around 300 to 400 times, upwards of almost 500 times per month, every month, year round. Um, so that's a lot of potential leads. So being at the top of these searches can bring a lot of business to your company. All right. And as you can see, I can target all the actual keywords people are searching um, in Google to rank your business for. So I can type in uh, roofing contractors. And it's going to give me, you know, similar results, you know, so same thing around 300 upwards, 400 times per month. Um, and again, roofing companies, metal roofing, um, you know, whatever you're into, you know, we can target the keywords and rank your business for so that you get that business versus your competitors. So um, I found you actually, no, I'm sorry. I, I typed in um, Bridgeton, Missouri roofing. This is probably the most profitable keyword. Um, and I actually I could not find you at all on the uh, local searches, especially not on page one. Um, if we go to metal roofing, metal roofing, um, again same thing. Couldn't find you um, in any of the local searches at all, especially on page one of Google. So uh, what I want to show you is this chart. So if you're ranked number one, you control 33-35% of all the searches. And as you go down, the last spot on page 10 is 3% and 11 starts page 2 and it's barely 1%. So as you can see, if you're not on page 1, um, you might as well be on page 20. Um, so huge opportunity uh, to be ranked at the top of Google and bring more business. So how much business is your website bringing you right now? So here's your website, uh, bartroofing.com. Um, right now zero from these types of searches from people looking for local roofers and metal roofers or uh, so on and so forth in your area um, you know no no new business coming in from that so zero per month um, your top competitor these guys the flat roof company .com, um, these guys are getting you know 200 over 200 per month on average um, so that's a lot of business right and a lot of potential market for you to reach um, so in the video I'm going to be going over exactly what we're going to be doing to get you that business all right um, so Google has an algorithm and it has 200 determining factors I'm only going to talk to you about four of the very most important ones okay um, the first thing I'm going to talk to you about is um, mobile friendliness so you know your site is mobile friendly 80 percent of people when they're looking for the service are going to use a phone so you have to be mobile friendly so that's good i wanted to get out out the way because google did release a um, update that affected websites that were not uh, mobile friendly um, next is i'm going to talk to you about on-page optimization so what google wants to know is do you have authoritative content are you mentioning all the keywords all the services that you have on the on the home page um, and are you uh, mentioning your um, the cities that you service as well? So I know I know that your business is uh, local and like verified and, and Brighton, and but you do service you know uh, St. Louis as a whole. Um, I know that's your your potential reach. Um, I'm going to go back and kind of show you um, you know what that potential reach looks like again. Um, but I want to continue. So the authoritative content content is very important. So if you're going to service St. Louis, you want to mention, you know, St. Louis roofing and roofing contractors, all these keywords that we're going to rank you for, you want to be mentioned on the home page with at least 1,000 to 2,000 words. All right. So that's very, very, very important. Um, right now, you know, this is about it for your content, about 100 to 200 words. 
right here. Um, so that's not going to cut it. We're going to have to add more content uh, to your page. All right, let me give you an idea what it, that looks like, authoritative content. So I went to Google, typed in elephant. So Wikipedia is number one for these searches. They're notorious for these searches because of the authoritative content. So as you can see, this page has endless amounts of information about elephants, what they eat, where they sleep, their evolution, everything. You know, 1,000, 2,000 words is going to be perfect for what we're trying to do. All right, so I want to show you real quick. I went to Google, type in St. Louis Roofing. So again, you know, I couldn't find you. Um, I just want to show you how much business these guys are getting since you are wanting to target this this market here I'm going to show you exactly how much they're bringing in so again you know these guys are bringing around uh, two, 200 per month so it's around the same as your other competitor so there's a potential to bring you know 500 leads per month um, or 500 potential uh, business leads per month uh, versus the zero that you're at right now. So huge opportunity. I just wanted to point that out. Um, next, I'm going to talk to you about like on page, uh, off page optimization. So once your site is kind of like up to par, you've mentioned all the keywords, you've got the content because Google's going to read the content. And one thing real quick, like pictures that also, those also have to be named correctly with keyword research. Um, but, but like the off page optimization stuff to get you ranked um, in the local maps, you want to have local citations done. So right now you're at a 99% error rate. Um, some examples of these are like, you know, the Google, Yahoo, Facebook being yellow pages and white pages. Um, when you fill these out, the name, business name, address, phone number, all have to be identical because if not, Google is going to penalize you. Um, so right now it looks like your Google verification, there's some errors with it. Google's, uh, it's not being recognized here. Um, so part, part of the reason I couldn't find you in like in the, in the local maps. So it has to be a Google verified with all your correct information. So we have to make sure that your Google My Business page is optimized correctly and making sure that it's verified at your, your location here. Um, but then some other citations, you know, uh, the, there's variations in the, the name of the business. So it goes from Barch Roofing Company to Barch Roofing to Barch Roofing Incorporated. Um, you know, and then you're missing, there's non-barch here, um, and then you're missing a lot of listings, uh, variations in the address, um, the phone number, variations in the phone number as well. So, a um, lot of discrepancies, you know, so 99% error rate, that's probably the highest you can go. I mean, without being 100% error, error rate. Um, but yeah, they, these are very important if you're going to get ranked locally and control 30% of that market just from the, from the Google Maps, all right? Um, so we'll definitely get all that fixed for you. Uh, next is influence pages. So this is kind of like the meat and potatoes. So if you're going to be ranked uh, number one organically here, you want to have high quality backlink profile. All right. So that pretty much, so Google is like a popularity contest. It's like um, running for president. The more people that are mentioning you online or voting for you, the more people, the more chance you're going to win the presidency or the top uh, position in Google. So these are your votes. Um, so right now you have seven referring domains. So there's pretty much seven people talking about you online and Google wants to know, are these high quality or popular people at all? That's pretty much what it wants to know. Um, so right now at, you're at a trust flow of eight. Okay. So that means, um, so let me show you this real quick. This is the uh, trust flow meter. Um, so at an eight, you're, you know, not even meeting medium quality. So you're kind of in between medium right here. You want to be over 20 or anything over 20 is high quality. Okay. So I just want to show you, um, in Bridgeton, Missouri, uh, where your, your address is located. Um, this, uh, Frederick roofing company, I just popped it into here. Um, so look at their, their trust flow in their domains. All right. So they, they had seven, you had seven or so, um, they have 84 and their trust flow is six. Now you guys are pretty much in the same category as far as the quality. Um, but obviously they have more links. So that's, what's, that's, uh, going to be what our main focus is pointing more links. And of course, pointing high quality links. Um, cause anything over 20, this number seems not to, to matter so much as long as you're over 20. So you want to have high quality links. Um, so let me show you a couple of our clients um, in San Diego. We have a auto dealer, a uh, huge auto dealer, right? Uh, in a 3.5 million city, um, this we've ranked this company from page three to three in local maps and number one organically. Um, I mean, so they're getting you know like 3,000 
leads per month. It's, it's crazy. But let me show you like the power of this site. All right, so 72 links, trust flow of 23. So as you can see, you know, a high quality. So that that's what Google wants to see. All right, um, I'll show you another one. So uh, we also have another San Diego uh, client. Um, they do party bus limousine rentals. Um, we built out this site for them in a different city. It's a lead generation website. We can do this for any niche, especially for roofing. Build out multiple sites in multiple cities and pretty much pull all the leads back to your business. So we built out this site, ranked it number one organically, number one in maps, um, in, in just a matter of a couple months. Um, and then now this site is actually, let me show you the power of this site. So look, 19 domains and then trust flow at 21. So very powerful site, ranked number one. Um, so as you can see, that's that's what it takes. Um, that's the kind of power you can expect you'll get from from our business. So let me show you even even our agency site, the power of this site. Well, this is very important stuff. So look, only 13 links we pointed for our own site, but look at the trust flow completely like off the charts, um, right? So very off the charts. So that's the type of quality you can expect that you'll get from us. So. Um, that pretty much concludes the analysis. So I appreciate the time you took to watch this. Um, I really hope this makes sense for you and your business. Me and my team are, you know, highly motivated and ready to partner with you and bring more roofing leads to your company um, and really dominate those online searches. Uh, so you're, you know, to actually transform your website into something that's making money for you um, versus, you know, being just an online representation. Uh, so we want to attract new buyers to it. So again, I appreciate the time that you took to watch this um, and we look forward to taking this next step to growing your business online. Uh, again, thank you for your time and you have a great day.